Uh, campers are starting to roll in for the Lightning in a Bottle Music Festival at Lake Buena Vista. This lake has been the center point of a disturbing missing, missing persons investigation after human remains were found there months ago. There are also concerns about the quality of water in Lake Buena Vista. And we wanted to find out what else could be lurking in there. 17's Amber Free is suited up to put the lake to the test and she joins us now with what she found. Amber? I went with an expert and we took samples testing the safety of Lake Buena Vista and the results may surprise you. My goal was to evaluate Lake Buena Vista, the venue for one of the largest music festivals in Kern County's history. I partnered with Salco Laboratories in Northwest Bakersfield. We know bacteria is just bad. Salco provides testing services for a variety of elements. We test for hydrocarbons, bacteria, pesticides. We have a petroleum department. So we do petroleum testing for environmental purposes, hazardous waste classification. This past July, a grisly discovery. A portion of a human leg washed up on shore making many question the lake's impact on public health. In the past, high levels of fecal waste were also found at the lake. The process was simple, collect water. So you'll want to do a north, south, east and west. Eight sterile test bottles, two for each area. They need to be sampled um, and brought back within six hours. You want to keep the samples as cold or colder than they were when you drew the sample to maintain the integrity of the samples. I gathered the materials and headed to the recreation destination. I suited up and Christopher Martinez directed me. He's been a tech at Salco Labs for five years. In here, but we At six feet in, the water was deep enough to sample. Martinez instructed me to wait a few minutes. The wind letting the water settle. Why is that important? Uh, so no debris comes to the top of the surface to collect. It would mostly be dirt and irritated if we, if we don't let it settle. I collected two samples at multiple locations. The North Beach area was clear, with a firm base to stand on. The west portion was specially murky and it felt as if the lake was dragging me in. The ground was very rocky in this area at the center area of the beach. We were close to the campgrounds on the east side. The ground was also covered with a rocky base. After this, I put them in our ice chest, we take them directly to our lab. The goal is to monitor coliform and E. coli in the water, both unsafe for humans. The analysis begins, a few chemicals are added to process the samples. It's gonna come out looking like this. Once the test tubes are sealed and temperatures controlled, results are expected within 18 hours. Brown, murky, with a disturbing history. The water that makes up one of Vista Lake is found to be not hazardous. The E. coli and coliform levels are well below the danger threshold regulated by the state. Comforting news to the people who will be attending this week's outdoor music festival. If you'd like more details on the results found in each area of the lake we tested, head to our website, kget.com. Amber Frias, 17 News.